Hello all, let's continue my series of videos talking about MLOps. Basically, what is MLOps? By saying shortly, it's all about parts of machine learning and system around the model. It is a big space of knowledge not about machine learning modeling itself, but about full infrastructure and logic around. In my opinion, it's mainly about making machine learning processes automatic, scalable and flexible for your business problem or explorations. And it's a big, really big MLOps tooling which you can handle and use. And as I see from the internet communities, there is a stronger and stronger focus on deployment. Ok, again, what is MLOps? It is machine learning operation or machine learning system design. In my daily job, I use these main headings talking about MLOps. MLOps infrastructure in the US and China are diverging today, different as in North America inside. But if you look at a full picture, we will see a growing demand of MLOps specialists and solutions around data science and machine learning fields. One important message if you are watching this video in 2021. The AI researchers seem to have calmed down in 2020, when Google freezed hiring for AI researchers, Uber let off their entire AI research team and Element AI was sold for cheap. However, the machine learning production scene is still growing, with more and more tools on the market. There is also growing interest in machine learning production even from academia. And if you look at the Google Trends, here is the evidence of what I have just told. The demand of MLOps is growing very fast and it becomes a golden skill for data scientists and machine learning practitioners. So where to start and how you can learn it? The answer is simple. Experience. Make your own experiments on cloud systems such as AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. Invest your time in a good material. Knowing the fact that it's a new subdomain of data science and everything what is around, read fresh content. This is why I want you introduced into one beautiful book which will be a perfect jump into golden fields of MLOps knowledge in all business, technical and theoretical perspectives. It is a engineering MLOps. Rapidly built, test and manage production ready machine learning lifecycle at scale. Keep watching this video and check it out before buying this book which I am still reading right now. This book is written by Emmanuel Ray. He is a senior machine learning engineer with more than 6 years of industry experience. What I can to mention here, he is a member of the European AI Alliance at the European Commission. Follow him on LinkedIn to track the new events and contents in data science, machine learning and of course MLOps. The book answers many questions which may come to you during your working in machine learning industry and explains a lot by answering not to how to do, but why to do, why you should use and do this, or this, or this. So do not skip any of chapters even if you think you know it so far. The structure of the book. The book contains 3 big sections and 13 unique chapters. Let's start from the beginning. Section number 1 will introduce you into framework for building machine learning models. This section contains topics such as fundamentals of a machine learning operation workflows, solutions how to characterize your machine learning problem, explains how you can handle data with code. Chapter number 1. Fundamentals of an MLOps workflow. This chapter enters you to MLOps space by talking about the evolution of infrastructure and software development, how works AI-centric applications. The author quickly jump over software development evolution comparing waterfall, agile and the DevOps methods. Together with introducing software development challenges, the author explains about the current trends of machine learning adoption in software development. And all this goes into the definition of MLOps with its concept, pipelines, deploying, monitoring and more. Chapter number 2. Characterizing your machine learning problem. In this chapter you will get a fundamental understanding of various types of machine learning solutions that can be built for production and will learn to categorize the relevant operation in line with the business and technological needs of your organization. You will learn how to create an implementation roadmap for operationalizing machine learning solutions, followed by procuring the necessary tools and infrastructure for any given problem. By the end of the chapter, you will have a solid understanding of how to architect robust and scalable machine learning solutions. 
and procure the required data and tools for implementing these solutions. Here you also learn how to structureize your MLOps, get knowledge about hybrid MLOps and much more. Pay attention to implementation roadmap for MLOps which is explained in details. That was cool. Chapter number 3. Code meets data. Here you will go from theory to hands-on practice on Azure Cloud System. In the chapter you will get started with hands-on MLOps implementation as you learn by solving a business problem using the MLOps workflow discussed in the previous chapter. You will also discuss effective methods of source code management for machine learning, explore data quality characteristics and analyze and shape data for machine learning solution. The chapter covers following topics. Business problem analysis and categorizing problem. Setting up resources and tools. 10 principles of source code management for machine learning. Good data for machine learning. Data preprocessing. Data registration and versioning. Toward and machine learning pipeline. You will find a very exciting part dedicated for MLflow service. Really, really enjoying chapter. Chapter number 4. Machine Learning Pipelines. This chapter explores very important areas on how organize and design your machine learning pipelines. Look at the schema, data ingestion, model training, model testing, model packaging, and model registration. All this is explained in details here. I like the comparison between MLflow and Azure Machine Learning Services. As studying MLflow's capabilities on my free time, this material is very useful for me. And here, after a lot of theory, you can follow explained step and do hands-on practice. These screens provided in this book are self-explanatory and explained separately. So let's go and enjoy. Big focus is targeted on the data ingestion, feature engineering, testing machine learning models, also to registering these models and production artifacts. In this chapter, you will implement your first critical building block of the MLOps workflow. Chapter number 5. Model Evaluation and Packaging As having uh, several years of experience in data science and machine learning, for me, the first part of the chapter was a good knowledge refresh. My attention was attracted by hybrid metrics, key IT model metrics, and mainly by production testing methods such as batch testing, A-B testing, shadow test, CI, CD pipelines. Then you will jump into theory of packaging machine learning models and practical advices how to do it. It includes file serializing, containerizing environments for production, and then the dream of any data scientist, inference-ready models. Chapter number 6. Key principles for deploying your machine learning system. In this chapter, you will learn a lot. Personally, for me, I did. Because many things were new for me, I suggest read this chapter sequentially without skipping separate parts. First of all, you should understand the main types of machine learning inference in production. It includes virtual machines, containers, serverless services, model streaming methods. Then you will be ready to hands-on straight to deployment in the context of a given business problem. A lot of code in Python are provided here. Read it carefully and remember what YAML files do, what is Conda dependencies, and what is ACI web service. By going through the pages, you will learn how to deploy the model on Azure Kubernetes service. For me, as having more experience in AWS, this part looks quite difficult, but in the same time involving and attractive. Then you do the same with MLflow, now this solution is on the trend. Have fun with this. Last word in this chapter was dedicated to continuous integration and continuous deployment. Chapter number 7. Building robust CI-CT pipelines. This chapter mainly about continuous operation in the MLOps pipeline. Here you will go hands-on implementation simultaneously. You will set up a continuous integration, this is CI, and continuous deployment, this is CD, pipelines for the test environment. This will equip you with the skills to automate the deployment pipelines of machine learning models for any given scenario on the cloud with continual learning abilities in tune with the business. Here you will explore continuous integration, delivery, and deployment in MLOps, setting up CI CD pipeline and test environment, pipeline execution and testing, pipeline execution triggers, 
Many screens and explanations will keep you on the track while learning and experimenting. Chapter number 8 APIs and Microservice Management This is a specific chapter where you will learn a lot about APIs and Microservice Management. Personally for me, this field is new and I will reserve a special time reading the chapter and grab what is the best from it. So, in the chapter you will learn by doing. You will build a microservice using Fast API and Docker. For this you will use a significant part of material from chapter number 4. Lastly, you will reflect on some key principles, challenges and tips to design a robust and scalable microservice and API for test and production environments. Pay attention to the microservice architecture. Get to know differences between monolith architecture. And here also, you will do many hands-on practice on Azure Cloud system. Enjoy and take the best from here. Chapter number 9. Testing and securing your machine learning solution. System security is a very sensitive field in MLOps and mainly in data systems, cloud architecture, everywhere where any kind of data exists. With this chapter you will get knowledge required to secure your machine learning solution. You will look into multiple attacks on machine learning solutions and explore the ways to defend your machine learning solution. On the top of that, you will explore such areas with this chapter. Understanding the need for testing and securing your machine learning applications. Testing your machine learning solution by design. Securing your machine learning solution by design. Pay attention to what are pre-training and post-training tests. Before reading the chapter, remember what you did in chapter number 7, because with the chapter you will perform a load testing for the service you deployed in chapter number 7. For this you will use a locust.io open source testing tool. With this tool you can monitoring and test in real time, analyze many important metrics. Very interesting part is about types of attacks. Did you know that there exists a dataset poisoning, algorithm poisoning? model poisoning and other types of attacks. Yes, read it about it here. Chapter number 10. Essentials of production release. I think before opening this chapter you should bring some specific knowledge from chapters before. Here the author talks about continuous integration and continuous delivery, it is CI and CD pipelines, and how to set up a production environment to serve your tested and approved machine learning models to the end users. You will set up the required infrastructure for the CI CD pipelines production environment, manage processes for production deployments, manage production releases, and perform related tasks. By learning about the fundamentals of CI CD pipelines, you will be able to develop and test and configure automated CI CD pipelines for your use case or for the business. In the chapter, you will remember the Git functionality and set up your Git trigger, artifactory trigger, and shadow trigger. This chapter will close the section number 2. Let's open the last section in this book. And here we go. Section number 3. Monitoring machine learning models in production. Here you will find a 3 perfectly prepared chapter dedicated to the principles and processes of monitoring machine learning systems in production. So, chapter number 11. Key principles for monitoring your machine learning systems. Here you will learn how to build a robust and explainable AI solution using the explainable monitoring framework. The explainable monitoring framework can be used for to build functional monitoring pipelines so that you can monitor machine learning models in production, analyze application and model performance, and govern machine learning systems. The goal of monitoring machine learning systems is to enable trust, transparency, and explainability in order to increase business impact. Real-world examples are being used in easy understanding manner here. Chapter number 12. Model Serving and Monitoring. Here you will bring knowledge about monitoring from previous chapter and focus on different means of serving machine learning models for users and consumers of the model. You will use explainable monitoring framework for the business use case. You will infer the deployed API and monitor and analyze the inference data using data drifts, feature drifts, and model drifts to measurement performance of machine learning system. You will be familiar on how to serve the model as a batch service to a human user. On monitoring machine learning system part, you will get knowledge on data integrity, registering the target dataset, how to create a data drift monitor, 
and basically analyze your machine learning system from different perspectives. Many many screens are provided here, so hands on and enjoy! And the last chapter in this book is chapter number 13, governing the machine learning system for continual learning. Remember, the better the adoption, the better the system is. Continual learning focuses on the external environment and adapts to it. Enabling continual learning for machine learning system can bring great benefits. This is what you will get knowledge about in this chapter. You will look at what is needed to successfully govern a machine learning system. With this, you will go into the hands-on implementation of governance by enabling alerts and action features. And lastly, you will learn about methods to enable model retraining and maintain CICT pipelines. Again, you will refresh your knowledge about data audit and model audit in the context of MLOps workflow. That is what the book is about. I hope you enjoyed this review and my main message what I wanted to tell you. If you are a passionate data scientist who want to learn more than build a simple machine learning model and look to the full picture from both technical business and science perspectives, this book is the perfect investment into the knowledge and skills for this. MLOps is the future of data science and this book can be the best friend in this amazing journey. The link where you can read more is in the description. Happy learning and see you on the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.